We know that creators burn out. They will make a post announcing that they are dealing with burnout. They'll be back in a few weeks. A few weeks later, they come back online with a new piece of content, smiling and happy and excited all over again and thanking their audience for bearing with them while they recover. But the time in between the heartfelt announcement and the triumphant return is kind of a black box. We don't know what the creator goes through, what steps they take, how they feel, how they confront those feelings and eventually, apparently, resolve them. It feels a bit like this experience of burnout is covered up. It's talked about in the past tense. And I could do that, skip a month of uploads and come back in December with some Christmas themed content and an apology on my community tab. But I'm trying to approach this experience in a way that feels authentic to me. I can't produce my usual content, and so I'm producing something new. So here is my video on creator burnout. Not what it is or how to recover from it, but how it feels and how I'm confronting it and eventually, allegedly, overcoming it. I know that this is a bit different from my usual content, which is about photography. This video is about the photographer and the unique position that many of us are in as people who get paid to create. So I was talking to a friend recently about their job as a hairstylist. And they told me that it's often hard for them to come home and be creative when so much of their creative energy is spent at work. I think that this is a trap that a lot of us in creative industries fall into. We spend so much time being creative at work that we start to associate being creative with work. Now, when you don't wanna work, that means that you don't wanna be creative. And unfortunately, a lot of us creative people have two settings, creativity and work. So when you take both of those away at the same time, what's left? I've been doing a lot of research about it, but I have yet to find a video that actually helps. The videos I see on YouTube are poised as how-to guides. How I avoid creator burnout how to prevent burning yourself out. How I am recovering from burnout. It's all framed around getting over it and getting back to work. Putting it behind you as fast as possible and returning to business as usual. Don't get me wrong, that's exactly what I want to do. But I can't stand to frame it that way. I can't tackle this like a to-do list. Because I am physically sick of to-do lists. It's all advice from well-meaning creators. Take a break, take it easy, take some time off, get some different hobbies, diversify your activities, reconnect with the things that you like to do outside of work. Outside of work. <laughs> it's been so long <laughs> since I did anything outside of work. I don't even know who I am outside of work. Until recently, I equated burnout with being tired, exhausted, overwhelmed, I pushed through these feelings, promising myself a few weeks of rest at the end of the season. It started at the end of September. I maxed out after 10 days at New York Fashion Week. I came home, continued working, two more big fashion shows, contracted COVID and recovered in a week. Every day of COVID, I would calculate in my head how long I had until I had to be better. As soon as I was testing negative, I was back at work. Halloween shoots, Thanksgiving, video projects, fall collections. I was in LA and then maxing out again and back in Vancouver for fashion week, four more 12 hour days. And hey, it's Halloween, I have to make a costume and Halloween themed video. No video, <laughs> put it off for a week and then come back to it or don't. My editing queue was growing. I took a week at the end of October to plow through it, got everything out by their deadlines, and then took a week off to rest. 
I still had a stack of photos waiting in the queue, but all unpaid, all in the it can wait category. <laughs> Expecting to be refreshed and restored, took a few more days, and oh my God, I still feel like every minute of rest is a precious resource that must be cherished, and every minute I'm not resting is time wasted, and oh my God, I'm wasting so much time working, I have to work faster so that I can rest again sooner, but I can't work faster, I'm working at a glacial pace, and the amount of time it's going to take to tackle this very small set of tasks is protracted, elongated into eternity. I'm wasting this whole month just procrastinating while this heavy burden of light tasks hangs above me and contaminates every second of rest with the dread of having to work again. I am hanging in procrastinator's limbo, unable to truly rest because of this lingering workload and unable to dig in and work because of this huge weight on my chest. Why is it so hard to breathe? Oh, so this is what burnout feels like. And no, oh my God, <laughs> you can't just push through it. I catch myself fantasizing about running away driving my car straight until it runs dry, living in a tent in the mountains, throwing my phone off a bridge and watching the waves devour it, starting a new life in a new city with a cast of bohemian roommates who don't care about my mental health and won't criticize my self-destructive lifestyle, deleting my Instagram account. Many times this month, I have asked myself what I would rather be doing. And the truth is, I'd rather be taking pictures. That's how I relax. It's the peak of leisure. I thought rest was about doing nothing. So how can I be doing it wrong? <laughs> I think that actually the kind of rest that creative people need is more of an active process than we've been led to believe. If you spend so much of your creative energy at work that you come to associate being creative with being at work, resting, taking time off work, means that you lose your creative outlet. And without that, you're left with nothing? <laughs> that is kind of depressing, right? Before I was a photographer, I was an artist. I wrote poetry and novels, composed music, painted, made jewelry, costumes, home decor. I wished for a way to channel all of this creative energy into one place, something that I could hone in on and get really good at. And then I discovered photography. When I was becoming a photographer, I abandoned my other creative outlets because I knew that I couldn't give those skills the time that they needed to become great. And I wanted to become great <laughs> at something. Now I think I am a pretty great photographer, but I don't wanna be just that anymore. I bought a huge canvas. I haven't painted in five years, but I wanted to see if I could still do it and jump right in. It's probably the best painting I've ever made. <laughs> and after painting for four hours every day, I feel full, creatively. I started writing again, clumsily. <laughs> I opened a document and titled it Draft. It's a book that I have had in mind for a few years, but I've always been a photographer and not a writer, so it's never been written. When I do these things, I feel like my creativity is coming back to me. It's like a balloon filling the place in my chest where the burnout has been sitting, <laughs> expanding outwards and filling me with ideas, colors, shapes, brushstrokes, waves of inspiration, pushing at my fingertips and tugging my brain back to that spot in front of the canvas. I don't feel smothered or hollow or heavy thinking about making art. I feel found. I've thought of myself as just a photographer for so long that when the need to rest took that away from me, I realized how much it took with it. Maybe burnout recovery is not about taking time off, but making time for things that get left behind in the name of work and productivity. I love photography. <laughs> but I don't want it to be everything that I am. I had a lot of great and lofty ideas about what this video might be and how it might come together. It didn't. 
Instead, it's a lot more honest than I had intended and a lot less informative. I'm taking the time and the space to share my feelings, my experiences, and what I'm learning along the way. I'm hoping that maybe this resonates with some of you who are experiencing the same things, dealing with the same struggles. I wish that I had better answers, that I could hand you a to-do list in the form of a video essay and send you on your way to cure your own struggles with burnout, just like I cured mine. But honestly, I think continuing to be creative in new and unexpected ways is the best thing that we can do. <laughs> and giving myself space to be creative with this video <laughs> is one more step in that journey for me. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you at some point in the future with a new video. <laughs> and in the meantime, I want you to stay sharp and don't forget to keep shooting. Bye guys.